First, we begin with Spartanburg City Council and how they're taking a closer look at the challenges with their bus system. A growing workforce seeking to fill jobs could find that unreliable transportation is a barrier. 7 News' Kimberly Brown joins us with the story now. Finding a way to keep transportation in step with growth can be challenging. It's an issue Spartanburg is facing. A lot of people live more in the city center um, who need have transportation barriers and a lot of the op job opportunities are out in the county. Hannah Jarrett works with the United Way of the Piedmont. People who face obstacles with jobs and transportation and even living accommodations come to them. The majority of the people who we transported during that 10 month period, they went from a status of unemployed to employed. And so that just told us that the main barrier to their employment was their transportation, not having transportation. Many of the people we spoke with did not want to go on camera, but a study completed by the city of Spartanburg shows that limited routes and limited hours had a big impact on ridership. But in light of this study, um, we would certainly welcome any chance to uh, have conversations with partners about ways we can increase our efficiency, actually meet people's needs better. Recommendations from the study include more bus shelters, efficient bus routes, and longer hours. 60% uh, of the bus riders who took the surveys were, are employed. And, um, you know, the question for them is whether or not it serves their needs in getting transportation to work. And many of those jobs are in the county, away from most bus routes. The city is looking into possibly talking to county officials and even some major companies about a partnership. One thing that was mentioned in the study was the idea of van pooling, which is uh, something that you know, you work with your major employers to do if they have a lot of employees. One thing the United Way of the Piedmont is trying to do is to address the stigma of riding public transportation. In bigger cities, they ride it all the time. So Spartanburg has an opportunity to grow its transportation system and make it just as common. Reporting from downtown Spartanburg, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Now, Spartanburg City Council will vote on a new budget in June, and that's when they'll have the opportunity to put more money in the budget for transportation needs. Though a department, or through, I should say, a Department of Labor grant, United Way of the Piedmont, SC Works, and Spartanburg Community College will run a three-year program focused on providing transportation for people to get to work.